I used to train only by myself for a long time. I never really consistently had a training partner. Up until about three years ago now, it's no coincidence that my gymnastics has gotten better since this guy started training with me. So I feel like he's earned this video. <laughs> Looks like you're too okay with Second. some of your landings. I want you to be a bit more aggressive, a bit more... No, I will not accept that. Don't do a tumble pass unless you're ready to really aggressively land it. Eamon is embarking upon something that not many people have done before. Trying to become an Olympian. He's obsessed with wanting to become the best in the world, but at the same time understands that it's definitely not going to be an easy task. Yesterday you started your competition build up for the Olympic qualifiers. You looked good yesterday. Yeah, I'm a bit sore from yesterday though. Yeah, yeah. But I was surprised I could do everything, like I'd done every skill. Well, this was like it, the injection worked and stuff and the recovery worked. Yeah. Not only is Eamon trying to qualify for the Olympic Games, he's also recovering from an ankle injury that has plagued him for the last two years or so. He got an injection in his ankle to try and reduce the swelling and take away the pain just before he starts his build-up for the Olympic Games qualifiers. This is what impresses me most about Eamon. He's clearly in a lot of pain, not performing gymnastics how he wants to, but he'll always come back into training the following day with this renewed motivation. And I don't know, there's just something really admirable about that. It takes a really different kind of person to not hold a grudge with yourself like that. And I think for that reason alone, he's one of Ireland's best ever gymnasts. As you know, every week we go through our analytics and what to try and achieve for the next week, what didn't work on the previous week. I want to see that all into play. I maintain when I said yesterday that yesterday was your cleanest. He's never shown me a a situation where he's overwhelmed and panicked for an athlete that's essential. Qualifying to Paris, he has to be top two in this World Cup series and I think the routine that he's doing now gives him a, a very realistic chance of that, but he has to hit. So about this World Cup series, the nice thing is we've done this all before. For the last two years we've done this exact same circuit, so we're very familiar with the competition. And that should really help with Eamon's results. The first stop is Cairo, Egypt. Then we fly straight from Cairo to Cottbus, Germany. We will then come home for a couple of weeks, then go to Baku, Azerbaijan. After Baku, there's actually European Championships, which is not a part of the World Cup series, but it's in Italy. And then we go straight from Italy to the Doha World Cup, which is the final World Cup of this series. There will be other athletes obviously trying to qualify to the Olympic Games on floor. And to achieve that throughout the entire World Cup series, you need to rank in the top Two. This adds a different aspect to gymnastics, consistency across four different competitions. With Eamon there's no ego, there's discipline and a want to constantly learn. For coaches this is a dream gymnast to work with and at the end of the day it's really benefiting Eamon's results. What is Eamon's best qualities as a gymnast? Basal awareness. Very good awareness. He can obviously perform under pressure. I think this is going to give him the best chance to qualify at the Olympics. Today is actually our last day before we head off to the first World Cup. And what I'm seeing in Eamon is a confident, happy gymnast. And that just shows to me, and hopefully him, that he's completely ready for this World Cup series. I just want to be ready this time. I don't know, I watch videos from last year and I think I was good then, but I just feel like I'm way better now. Is it 
part of the dog. Roland? <laughs> I'll talk to you after one second. There's no one there, isn't there? Really Watch this. And then, yeah, he's not really afraid to fully commit to it. Is that confidence in that body? Yeah. What's his potential in gymnastics? The nurse. That's what we're here to discover. That's why we train. That's why we, we bring it every session. Uh, coaches do our jobs, athletes do their jobs, is to, to figure that out. It's not something that can be definitive right now that we know. You have to discover that along the journey. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. It was something a little bit different. And if you do want to follow Eamon's journey, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I will be going to the World Cup series with him and documenting the entire thing. So it's a really fun time to be following along with this YouTube channel while we're at the World Cup series. And I've got a few ideas in my head that I'm hopefully wanting to make work while I'm out there at the World Cups. But I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.